Rock! What's up, everybody? Man, what is going on? There's so much traffic right now. It's fucking 11.40 on a Tuesday. Where are all these people going? Shouldn't they be at work? Not everybody's a lazy, unemployed, college student bum like me. Or at least I don't think they are. <laughs> oh, man! So, it's been one year. Today, exactly to the date, is one year since I started motovlogging. Uh, I, I did post a video on the 5th of last year, but that was just a walk around on my bike. This is one year since I actually started vlogging. What a year it's been. First off, when I started this thing, I honestly, I was like, man, imagine if I get a thousand subscribers. That'll be crazy. And, uh, you know, I, I was just like, I, I was, so backstory, I was gonna get a bike and then I broke my leg. And, you know, that fucked up my schedule for working and earning the money to buy a bike, but, the job I had, they kept paying my paycheck since I got hurt protecting their asses. Uh, which was the only thing that job ever did cool for me. Um, you know, but I, I, I had nothing else to do. So I laid around watching Moto Vlogger and Super Moto videos. Uh, you know, I, I was, I was kind of like, man, you know, this, these Super Motos look really cool. I got into, you know, Super Retards. And I think Super Retards and Jake were my first uh, vloggers that I actually watched and liked watching. Um, I got into others. I think Fire Guy and Armenian were probably some of the next ones because I don't remember how I discovered them. Probably through watching Jake's videos. Like I said, I was like, man, imagine if I get a thousand subscribers. At the time, I think Jake had like, I think Jake only had like 35,000 or 50,000 or something like that. I don't remember what he had, but it was somewhere, you know, something like that. And look at this guy next to me. He's like, what is this guy doing? So, man, this bike's still idling pretty high. Turning my bike, my idle down a little. That's a little better. Um, so you know, I, I watched their videos, and uh, I was kind of, I was always like, you know, it would be kind of cool if sometime when I get my bike, I could, you know, meet Jake, maybe go to Dallas sometime and ride with him. Like that'd be pretty cool. Not because I was like geeking out and being like some crazy fanboy, but because he was pretty cool and, you know, him and Fire Guy and Armenian were in Dallas, so I was like, fuck, I'm only like, you know, three, uh, three and a half hours, three hours from Dallas? That would be cool if I could go ride with them sometime. Actually, I'm gonna go straight here. So, you know, I post, I went out and I did my first vlog and I guess it was okay. I think it was pretty terrible, but I think on that first log, like the second day I had it up, Jake actually uh, replied to it and subscribed me. I was like, holy shit, that's, that's pretty crazy. But of course that, you know, any, any of you that moto vlog, or, you know, you can imagine somebody, a big, if a big vlogger replies to one of your videos or subscribes to you, you get a bump in subs. And I think I jumped to like 100 subscribers in the first, I think like week. It might have been like the first couple days. I was just, my mind was fucking blown. I was like, oh my God. But I figured, you know, that was, I was probably not gonna get that many subs. I was like, oh, that's just a bump from them, from him replying to it. And, but then my sub numbers kept growing. I started making videos. I got a little better at, you know, just finding things to talk about. You know, my sub numbers kept growing and pretty soon I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna hit 500 subs. Man, this idol. That's a little 
better, I guess. Um, man, I kind of I want to cut down the sidewalk to go down to this place. I'm sweating, cops. You know what? Actually, no. You know what? It'll be full of fucking water if I go down there today. Cause it rained like a bitch last night. Actually, you guys want to see how much water there is? Let's go check it out. Let's see how much water there actually is down here. I gotta get down here before cops. A cop comes down this road. Now this is, if you watch some of my earlier videos, you might remember me coming down here. Oh shit, there's no water. I can't believe that. That's craziness that there's no water down here. Last time I came down here, I got to about here and I was like, oh, it doesn't look that deep. And I got to about here and I was like, oh, that was deep. Because it was, you know, it, well, it was, it was deep. Man, I always hate when I stop like this because turning around on the fucking hill is, is shitty. Oh, let's park here for a minute. So, actually I'm gonna park in here. That way if a cop comes and pokes his head, he won't see me. So yeah, um, I'm gonna turn this so you can actually see me. You know, that I, where was I? See, I already fucking forgot where I was at. Oh, so, yeah, you know, things started going well. I started getting a bunch of subs and all of a sudden, I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna hit a thousand subs. And then time came and I did hit a thousand subs and that was crazy. I was just like, how the hell did I get a thousand subscribers? Why would a thousand people wanna watch what I had to say? But it was, people did and it was awesome. Um, and then it kept growing. Um, at one point, Armenian was like, you, you gotta come up for the next Supermoto Sunday and do wheelies with us. So I did, and at the time, I still couldn't walk because I had my broken leg, and I was still, I was using my cane, that's when Jake was like, look at this dude on his bike with a cane. Um, you know, I was kind of like, this is kind of fucking cool, you know, I've been watching these guys on YouTube, and now I'm riding with them, and that was cool. You know, and it, 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 you know, fast forward to today, and like I said, man, I, I started this out, I thought maybe I'd get 100 subscribers. And, uh, you know, I never expected anything big to come of it. <laughs> I ended up getting contacted by Marinko, the guy from Rock, um, picking up a sponsorship deal, becoming part of the whole, you know, the beginning of the Rock Moto crew. It's been their uh, kind of OG RMC guy, which is, again, fucking crazy that somebody likes what I have to say enough to give me that kind of a hookup and put their trust in me to represent their brand like that. <laughs> and then Motocross Giant came along, which is awesome. Those guys have been great dealing with them. Um, you know, and uh, I don't know, it's just been pretty fucking crazy. Uh, my leg's getting a little better. I'm getting a little better on the bike. I'm starting to be able to do wheelies finally. You know, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. And then all of a sudden now it's a, exactly a year later and I'm at 4,157, I think it is, subscribers as of this morning. That's, I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna head out of here before I freak these people and their dogs out. Out there today, huh? It's the first time I've seen anybody there since the uh, junkies ride. Cross your fingers, no cops, no cops, no cops. And kick ass, no cops. Let's get the fuck out of here in case they did call the cops. The 
yeah man fucking 4157 subscribers as of this morning man I know not all my subs watch the videos which is weird why would you subscribe to somebody and then not watch their videos um, I may well maybe they want all my subs watch all my videos but not all subs watch all the videos like I always wondered why like Jake has like 100 125,000 subscribers or some shit like that now and he'll post a video and it'll get like 13,000 views or 20,000 views or something and I'm like where are the other 80,000 people um you know like I said I got you know 4,100 and change and I'll get like 1,200 views on a video or maybe 2,000 if it goes a little bigger and I'm always like why are they watching the videos? So, you know, I try to, I, I'm, I've been constantly trying to make my videos cooler, which is one of the reasons why I got this camera right here on the handlebars, so I can have uh, two views. I've tried to kind of, man, it's windy. I don't know if you can hear the wind noise, but holy shit, it's windy. I, I've tried to kind of think of interesting topics. You know, which is harder than it sounds because I have this tendency and I, I've heard this from a lot of vloggers particularly newer ones I, it's like I have all these ideas and when I get on the bike and turn the camera on I'm like uh what and I can't ever think of what I was going to talk about but I've been trying to make my vlogs better I have a new camera position I'm going to try um, I'm going to move the mic into, into the cheek pad up front. I did that on my dirt helmet, and now I can actually do good moto vlogs on my dirt helmet where I speak. Uh, so that's going to be really cool the next time I go to the motocross track. Uh, I got a better mic for that helmet. I want to get a couple more of those mics so I can put one of the better ones in this helmet. It's actually, I don't think it's a stereo mic, but it's a dual mono, so I don't have to... Anybody has a GoPro, you know. Or if you have a camera with a mono mic, you know what the deal is when you process it. You have to make some changes to the audio or else you just have audio coming out the left the left speaker. And it, it never fails. Somebody will be like, somebody will post, my left ear enjoyed this immensely. Like I've seen that same phrase posted on like 10 videos, including one of mine. I've never come under this bridge from this side. I always come down the railroad track thing and cross that drainage ditch and then kind of go from there. I don't think I'm going to try going up that though. That's fucking nutty. Oh, that's all wet too. A little foot down turn around. I used to come down that hill all the time, but now it's like fucking every time I, I come, go to come down that hill, I get up there and I look and there's a cop sitting down here. I'm like, oh fuck. I really want to go blast through that mud, but I have class. I have, I have class. Who, who am I kidding? I never have class. I'm not a classy guy. So this part here used to have a half pipe out behind it, which was pretty cool. Well, that must have been muddy back there. I can hear all the all the mud hitting my tires. Yeah, this place used to have a half pipe in the back. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at all the mud coming off my tires. I look picked up a lot of shit. Huh, that doesn't go out. I guess this bar is closed. Oh goody, and my tires that were so muddy are going to get so muddy again. Be like, so muddy! And what the fuck, I just came through here, and my tires are throwing all kinds of mud, and there just really isn't much of any tracks through the mud. It's craziness. It seems like there should be massive tracks in the mud if it's going to throw that much mud. Well, anyway. Woo, look at that shit! <laughs> See the mud flying off my front tire here? Man, if I didn't have to go to class, I would go fucking motor tripping through that woods. That's, I've now, 
I, I, well, I guess I didn't really coin the phrase. I'm sure other people use it, but. Whoa! Oh, that's a hawk with a mouse. I don't know if you can see that up there, but a hawk just flew up off that thing there with a mouse or a lizard or something. That's pretty cool. I'm an animal guy. It's one of the reasons I like Spicy. He's kind of, he's a, he knows a whole bunch about, you know, wildlife and stuff. Wildlife and stuff. Um, fucking, I'm ADDing so hard right now. Where was, what was I talking about? Fuck, I don't remember, but anyway, man. Like I said, it's been a year. Uh, I'm at 4,157 4, subscribers as of this morning, which blows my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm completely blown away and obviously super stoked about it. You know, I'm, I, I really appreciate all you guys and girls. Got a couple ladies watching my stuff. I think the one said she uh, watches it on her husband husband's account. And it's pretty cool because I, you know, I'm glad that I'm glad that the things I say are also appealing to. Uh, I think my I think my rear turn signal might have just fallen off. Oh no, it's broken though. See how it's blinking real fast? Yeah, I, I think my rear turn signal's screwed now. Oh yeah, it's dead. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. You know, I got some ladies watching my videos because I'm the ladies man. Anybody, any of you guys remember the ladies man for Saturday Night Live when Saturday Night Live was still kind of actually funny? Although, you know what? I should be fair. Saturday Night Live might be funny again. I don't know. I haven't watched it in like fucking 10 years because it started sucking so bad. MotoGP is coming up here. Shit, I guess it's this coming weekend. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go. I'm really on the fence about going. I wanna go, but at the same time, it's kind of a long fucking day, and I don't, I just don't know how much I care. You know, walking, walk, if, if it wasn't for my bum leg, I think I would be more into going. Um, but as it stands with my bum leg, I. I, mean, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Um, Jake might be coming down from Dallas to go to it. If he comes down, I'll, I'll go. Because, I, like I said, I'm pretty much on the fence. And if he's going to come down to go, then that's that's what I need to push me over. That slight bit. And I mean, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm not like a little bit. I'm not like a little bit on the fence, leaning heavily one way or the other. I'm like completely on the fence, leaning very slightly towards not going. Where the fuck am I? I don't know what road this is. Oh shit! I'm right by my school. Man, it's too early to go to my school though. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm fucking hungry. Maybe I'll go to Taco Cabana. You know what? There's no reason me putting my turn signal on. It doesn't work anyway. I think I'm just gonna take my turn signal. Maybe I should buy. There's a tail. There's an LED unit I, you can buy for your tail light that flashes the tail light for turn signals. Maybe I should get that. I don't know. The, like the second day I had this, I don't know if you can see this, the electric tape on that turn signal. The first time I went to Dallas for that Supermoto Sunday, I had the bike strapped down. The strap was pressing on the light and it broke it. But I electric taped it to hold it for a couple days. I don't know if you can see that there. And the, the electric tape has never come off and it's held it rock solid. Uh, the rear one I didn't think would hold the electric tape because, you know, it. Man, it's weird the bike's like all of a sudden running better. Like it's not trying to stall and it's not sputtering. Let's see if it stays running when I turn the other on to normal. I wonder if... Yeah, listen how much better it's running. So I did back the fuel... I did turn the fuel screw in about three quarters of a turn because the bike smelled like gas, which meant it was rich. And lo and behold, I turn the fuel screw in and the weather gets warm. 
and weather can affect the jetting needs of the bike too. The weather gets warm and I go a little bit leaner and lo and behold, listen to the bike. It's still idling faster than normal, but this is pretty damn good. I'm pretty stoked. That's Man, good. I'm going on like 22 minutes here. This is going to be a long vlog. I know there's going to be stuff edited out of it, so it won't be that long, but you know what? It's been a year. If, if there's any time I should do a special vlog that's a little longer than normal, I think the one year anniversary vlog should be it. What do I want to eat? I kind of feel like, you know, guilty pleasure eating. Which is, which to me is like, you eat something fucking horrible that you would never usually eat, but that you know is just so damn yummy. Like, there's a KFC up here. And although I would always pick Popeyes over KFC because they put meat in their gravy. Nobody can argue with KFC mashed potatoes and gravy. You can't fuck with KFC mashed potatoes and gravy. I mean, it's just, it's good. They're chicken, eh. You know, now that I've had Popeyes, I don't, oh, yep, no, it's all. No, that. There we go. There, there we go. Sometimes the bike's hard to get into a neutral. Man, I, I, I don't know. It's. I don't even know what to say. So, oh, I wanted to ask you guys, how do you feel about the, having the second camera angle? Um, I went, so when I, if you watch closely when I do the picture in picture, I make the picture from this camera just ever so slightly transparent. I think it, it feels, to me, it feels a little less intrusive because you can just see a shadow of what would be in the normal frame. You can see just a shadow of it through there, so it's not a super hard cutoff. So I, I don't know if that makes it any better. It'd be interesting to hear what you guys have to say. I got uh, I got some new stuff coming for my YZ. Um, it, man, it, so it's like I can't own a vehicle that's not crazy loud. Except this one isn't even intentionally loud. Like this bike I knew would be insanely loud because of the uh, MRD exhaust. It's like the loudest pipe on earth. Um, my car is loud because it's a Mustang. I have put a second set of mufflers on it to make it a little bit more tolerable, but it's still gonna make it still a really loud car. But my dirt bike, people have been complaining about being behind me at the track saying my YZ250 is way, way, way too loud. Um, and it's just, it's it's completely stopped. But I think what the problem is, it's a 2005 and it's completely stopped. And the, I don't think the muffler's ever been repacked. In fact, I would bet a lot of money that the muffler's never been repacked uh, for a couple reasons. One, because it's louder than it should be. And two, because it's on the original tires. It's a 2005 and it's still on the stock original factory tires. So that tells me that, that thing's been, uh, you know, the guy, I know the guy that owned it, he only used it as a trail bike and he didn't ride it that much. So I'm, you know, I can definitely see him never, I mean, I'm sure he maintained it, but I can definitely see a large possibility of him having never done anything to it as far as, uh, you know, replacing a chain or, Pockets or anything like that. The, you know, the tires that were dry rotted to hell. They still had a, they still had okay knobs, but they, they were dry rotted pretty bad. And finally, riding at the track, a couple of the knobs got ripped off the back tire. So I ordered new tires. I ordered a, a uh, an FMF slip on. Uh, I got the 
what did I get? I got the Power Core 4 slip on for it, and since I was already spending money that I didn't really have, I said fuck it and I ordered a power bomb for it because I had bought a jet kit for it before, and I thought the jet kit had said that the jet kit was for completely stock bikes to get a little bit more power out of them by jetting them a little more optimally. Optimally. Um, sort of a jump there but anyway it turned out that it was for not stock bikes it was for bikes with like an exhaust and an air filter so I couldn't put the jet kit in but anyway so I already had the jet kit which is like a large part of the battle if you're gonna do an, a full exhaust and I don't need more power I mean, honestly, the last thing I need on that bike for motocross is more power. But you can always enjoy a couple more horsepower. You know, so that's I, I got, so I got the uh, you know the Power Core Four slip on and a power bomb, and I have a jet kit. The power bomb came the other day. Actually, it came last night. Uh, the, the tires, I ordered Dunlop MX-51s, but then it turned out they were on back order. So I called them and I was like, well, what else do we have? And I just kind of was, I kind of threw a Hail Mary. I'm like, hey, ha ha ha, you, you don't have the MX-52 yet. You can't get the MX-52 yet, can you? Because it wasn't on their website. And she was like, oh yeah, I, I, she came back after, you know, put me on hold for a minute. She's like, oh yeah, I definitely can. She's like, I don't know why it's not on our website. I'll get the webmaster to put them up. up. So I ordered the uh, Dunlop MX-52s front and rear. You know, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a pretty neat. You know, a pretty neat change to the bike going from tires that had half-worn dull knobs to tires with nice sharp, crisp knobs and you know, pick up three or four horsepower. I think that should be a pretty interesting change. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. I will talk to you later. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being a fan and watching me. Check me out on Facebook. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot, guys. Bye.